We're going on an expedition today. My name? Steve Irwin. Or, as you know, the Crocodile Hunter. Now, I will show you some Boy Scout 101 things. I just made a hat out of a bunny and a raccoon tail. Now, the expedition starts. Let's go. Let me get my gun off. It's a high caliber of rifle you got there. Yes, it is. For shooting man bears and she snakes. Now. Oh my god, what is that? Fight these things in seventy two. Shut up, man. Come up close for one. For the kill. See, they laugh a lot. <laughs> they laugh a lot. Now, when you break the neck, they stop laughing. <laughs> now it's done. They might have a little spasm laugh once in a while. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> this one is having more spasms than usual. <laughs> now, look at it. Look at it. I don't think I broke the neck right. Show it. Show it. Now, are these things... Do these can these things kill humans? Oh yes. What do you think they're called man bears? They eat man. Not called man bears because of this. Is this a, is this an average? Oh my, god. Oh, my oh, god. god! oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's alive! Oh my god! He's a gun! Ah! <laughs> this is like seventy-two. <laughs> <laughs> It's all the spasms! <laughs> Finish it! He's done. Oh, he's, he's going in for the double kill. Oh, he's out. This guy's not messing around. <laughs> Because I'm Steve Rowe. And I won't get a kill in. But I will. Look at the facial remarks of these bears. Look like they're smiling. They look like happy couples on a date. But when you stick your hand in their mouth, they get biting. They get to bite. Uh. Shut up. Yeah, I break the jaw. The jaw's broken. Now, what you want to do is you want to pull their fingers apart as far as you can till they make a sound. Till the bear makes a sound. Ah! And a bear, a man bear, or just any grizzly, these man bears, right before they die, you will know. Right before they die, they shit the pants. <laughs> <laughs> this was a mother. You can tell by a mother when you can hear the fart about a mile away. Get your hands off of there. Now, last thing you do, you're gonna choke them out. And they're out of their misery. If you know, when you know, they'll crap again. 
I am sitting on a dirty diaper, folks. Tonight, it's got dirty. I didn't think it would. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes. Are these edible? Land bears? Yeah. Well, funny you should ask that. <laughs> no. You rip open its stomach. <laughs> like so. And you pull down its chest. You will see this vein. The vein right there. You gotta cut that with your fingernails. Like that. Open it up. And eat the heart. And then you break the nose. This man bear is done for. No more laughing for you. Let's go on more expo. Just so I know that it's dead. There. Here we go. Now, casual breeding grounds for these bears. This is where they like to have pups. When they have pups, it is dirty. It smells bad. And there's usually baby juice all over the place. Find some breed grounds. <laughs> uh, hey, bear! Come out! Shh, I think I hear one. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Fetch a pitch of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. They love that riddle. <laughs> That riddle, something we all hope for. If you say that riddle, a bear will come out and eat you. I just hope that bear down there didn't hear that. <laughs> he was one of the bigger bears. Is this true? Yes, it is true. This was one of the bigger bears that I have ever found. Now, be very silent. Okay. Yes, sir. Got a little blimey in your baby. <laughs> oh my god! It's coming back. Oh jeez. I thought you said it was dead, sir! It should be dead. I this one must be a pulp! <laughs> Finish it, sir! We're taking up great TV time here! So I mean spasms. He's out. He's dead. This is the end, my friend. Cheerio.